Hey, I'm Captain Daedalus, and thanks for coming back to watch this video with me. Um, this is Californium. Something a little different. Um, I discovered that... Alright, this is where I quit. Stopped the video last time, and uh, I quit the game. And when I came back, well, apparently you can't... It won't save unless you get to the end of the certain chapter. And well, I'm not to the end of the chapter, so I had to go through and do all the stuff I had done previously, but since I knew where everything was and I wasn't trying to make a just discovery video, I just, it only took like five minutes to get through all of that. So, let's uh, go to the obvious here and find out what this television is going to say to us. Three things going on here. Can't quite hear that record. Can you understand what he's saying? I couldn't quite catch that. You can't do this? Oh darn. It's a vision. Maybe that's what it says. Well, maybe if I can stop this television and hear something, I can hear something. <laughs> Quite good. He's got past due notices also. I said that was the Omega symbol earlier, symbol earlier, but I think it might be Theta. All right, well that light is definitely flashing over there. I only have to find four of these. Oops. I'm trying to hear what it's saying. That light only stays on while I'm moving. Curious. Alright, let's go for it. This, uh, instead of a publishing office, it's a recording studio? Or is it a monitoring a surveillance spy thing? Come back on. Oh, I see. So we have to go to it. There we go. Ah, it's a recording studio. Ooh, look at look at that. Look inside the bureau there. Top stars can't quite make that out. Variety musical review. Jiving in bebop. Dizzy Parker and his orchestra. The Hubba Hubba Girls. <laughs> mm, Ray, I don't know. And a big cast of stars. Distributed by Alexander, Alexander Distributing Company, Incorporated, 306 Lenox Avenue, New York, 27. Okay, whatever. What is that thing? Oh, that's an outlet different kind of an outlet. 
two more. All right, well, that light is, I see the two more right now. The outlet. The TV's talk. What are you doing? Did you lose something? Maybe you should get, the TV's talking to you? Elvin, you're freaking me out. Are you high or what? I must have told him the TV's talking to me. Maybe you should get some help. I'm going to give you Barry's number. He's a great shrink. Barry. Well, thank you so much. How about that? The TV's talking? The Great Abe. That's what I wrote by Elvin Green. World's... Weird Worlds Publishing. Well, that's where I am now, but it's so totally different. I don't like all this. Like they got no vision for warmth or anything. Everything is blue. No colors. I knew it. Well, our illustrious writer has discovered a taste for multiple realities. Ah. Yeah. I don't like those kind of lights in here. Let's see, volume, tome one, tome two, and I guess tome three. Got a fascination with Abe Lincoln, how odd. There's a guy standing in the door down there looking at me. Well, let's go find out what he's about. Now oh, and the door is open in this world. Oops, sorry guys. apologize for that, but there's not really a lot I can do about it. The phone rings when it rings. Oh, there's a cop across the way that wasn't there before. I hear one of those television things again already. I suppose you could probably just rush right through this if you wanted to. Whoop, push it be down, okay. But, what's the fun of that? To get done is all you want? And don't even bother. Don't even bother starting, it'll already be done. virtual reality sometime later and I might do another set of stereoscopic another guy oh, a whole bunch of guys should we go in through the front door I think so no, let's not go through the back door my place looks like it's still intact over there and another guy. Okay. Go on over here first. We're not going to pick up another television until we talk to all these people. Hey, Elvin! Good to see you again! 
again. Oh, that's a nice so, Stavros. finish your book. No. You have to pay your tab, right? Uh, Poor I'm Stavros sorry. is broke. Uh, man, I'm the police rely on everybody. are everywhere with that crystal aid coming in from Mexico. Crystal aid. Gets in the way of business. Crystal aid. The clients are too scared to buy dope from Stavros now. <laughs> Except for two local hippies. Some guy from the narc squad came by. All in black, like a crow, a tough guy. He was like something from that TV show, The Invaders. He asked about you. What's Elvin writing about? The Invaders. How does Elvin get high? He asked about Thea, too. She communist? She running with the Black Panthers? What does Stavros know? Scott, uh, he never knew there was a communist party in America. The Invaders. The Inspector is... Heck, there is an old show. It's not the Invaders. Okay, well, there's obviously a television right there. Are you still over here, man? What's going on? I like that belt buckle. Fuck, man, I sure hope my number don't come up. No Talk way about. I'm going to get my skin full of lead and oh, nail for see. Uncle Sam. That happens, I split for Canada. Yeah, okay. My father was in Vietnam. And I was... Well, never mind. Okay. You saw that television there. Like I said, we're gonna go talk to all these people first. Hey, dude, what's up, man? What's up? Well, hello there, young man. A novelist friend of mine told me a good story. What's that? Friends gather for a dinner party. They start by having drinks. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, the host has left out a beautiful seven-pound fish ready to bake. Everyone gets okay. a little tipsy, and when the woman goes back to the kitchen to put the fish in the oven, uh -huh. it's gone. Nothing but the family cat licking his chops. Oh, man. Where did the fish go, the guests cat. wonder? Then they have a great idea. Why don't we weigh the cat? They all go to the bathroom and put the cat on the scales. The arrow moves seven pounds exactly. There. Now we know where the fish went, they oh, say. Okay. Everyone's relieved to find this rational explanation for the missing fish. Until one of the guests exclaims, But where did the cat go? You could call it Schrodinger's fish, don't you think? Have a good day. Well, that's just a little crazy. What's wrong with you, dude? It doesn't quite make sense either. Watch me closely. Ah. All right, enough of that. Another guy on this side of the street, and then we'll go over, go over and talk to the cop or listen to what he has to say. Is that getting more yellow? More smoggy? Really, you hardly see two blocks. Another cop car down there, one here. People like big cars around here. We'll run to them. Here we go, this is running. I got a peace button, peace sign on his button. Namaste, Elvin. Some guy Namaste. from Narc Squad was grilling me all morning. He wanted uh, to know who is dealing Crystal 8 in the neighborhood. So I said, why? You want some? <laughs> you know what? That racist asshole smacked me in the face. How's Ooh, Taya you doing? Do that. She never come by for the album she ordered. I got a ton of new stuff in. Hendrix, to who? Let's hope they release a recording from the Monterey Festival. Ravi Shankar blew everyone away. Ravi Need Shankar. to hear that. It's a perfect, exotic, psychedelic music. It opens up your chakras. Your chakras? Your store up? here. Man, let's stop the back. Can I? I wonder if I can stop the background music. Let's see here. Now. There really is music, music.
Oh, now come on, now I'm trying to take a picture. Here we go. All right. all together. Okay. Alright. Okay, Copper, what do you want? I heard sweet old Mrs. Reagan is real mad at you. Yeah, is that was that her? Re yeah, she was mad at me, alright. Oh, well, you know, you do what you can do, yeah. Better go write something real quick. Hey, uh, what was that? What was your name? Stravka. Hey, sorry, but Stra Stavros. Stavros. Stavros, uh, you mind? Oh, what were you gonna say? Say what? The TV sent you a message? <laughs> you going cold turkey or what? Yeah, yeah, man. Hey. Sorry, but Stavros can't sell you nothing till you pay off your debt, Elvin. Oh, man. Well, let me at least go in here and use the bathroom, okay? All right? Okay. All right. You got something different to say to me? No. Okay. It looks pretty sour. Just a sink. I need to... No more sinks. I need to... Where the hell's your toilet? Somebody stole your toilet, Stavros. You got a toilet paper? You just supposed to shit in the corner or what? Piss in the sink? Stavros. Stavros, man. Hey, man. What Say what? The TV sent you a no, message? No, 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 that's beside the point right now, <laughs> man. You going cold turkey or what? Well, maybe I am or something. What, what the hell? I don't see any toilets in there. There's toilet paper all over the place, but... Man, am I imagining it? Am I that high? Did you like take the toilet out of there? Hey, you're stingy. You don't want anybody using your toilet. Space buck. Better than Starbucks, huh? I want to see if I can sneak by the television. Okay. Going out into the alley. Dove of peace. All right, I guess we'll go back in here. That must be a sports car there. A little different than those ones going down the street. Yeah, okay, go back in here. See what the television has to say. If anything, it just give me, it won't say anything, I don't think. Give me a number. Yeah, okay. How many? Come on, come on, give me a number. Five. Okay, five. You guys see anything? There's another woman across the way. Oh, there it was, right there. Those uh, boxes are jumping all over the place. Oh. Okay, well this other world, everything seems to be organized a little bit more. Hey, that's a good point here. Hey, Stavros, what kind of a place is this, man? You got, you got no kitchen. This place has a kitchen, sort of. There's coffee there. Got some pot. There must be something else in here that I'm not seeing. Okay, man, Stavros, what kind of? Well, they got coffee makers there. Just a coffee joint. You don't have anything. Nothing cooked. Okay, all right. I want to hear this jukebox. Can we hear it? Is it playing anything? Well, record's going around, but nothing's playing. Uh-oh. I got stairs leading to nowhere. Every place in this other world is a little bit bigger than the one here. I work hard for my country. ABE, Advanced Berkeley Electric. 
Why they got some sort of a patriotic surveillance state, it seems like. Can't go any further. Huh. Oh, right there on the table, you see it? There we go. And there's another one over there. Well, they got square tables instead of nice round orange and yellow ones. Oh, octagonal. Everything is blue. Must be the ex look. Those are bar stools. What's going over there? Huh? Yes, definitely bar stools. All right, here we go. Stavros, man, are you seeing what I'm seeing? This place is a little bit, uh, well, I don't know, more well-to-do, but that doesn't mean it's better. I don't, I don't think I like this. Got like, mini fridges. They must serve alcohol here. What does that say? Everyone needs one. Got a personal electric generator. It does have the electrical symbol there. What she say? Berkeley. What she work for? She works hard for at a, a Berkeley Electric. Yeah, advanced Berkeley Electric. Work hard for my country. How many more? One. Hey, 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 Stavros, you want to bet that this place, this alternate dimension has, ooh, he's scary. The alternate dimension has toilets in it? I bet it does. If I can only make it go. Oop, I saw a flash. Did you see that? There it is. On the door. Okay. We're going to find out if this new place has toilets. Hmm, all this is most stimulating, my friend. You've finally given some meaning to your life. As one of your fellow writers said, man is absurd in what he seeks, great through what he finds. Well, that's an interesting quote. Absurd in what he seeks, great in what he finds. Who said that? I'll have to go back and listen to that again. What are these things? Food containers? There's a personal generator. Stupid shrouding your fish. Green, you Green. pencil pusher. Why pencil are you sticking pusher. your nose in other people's business? Agent huh? Shine, huh? Looking for Crystal Eight, maybe. Call me Green. No, asshole. They get their hands on that shit. <laughs> Wanna help us out? Doesn't why, it why bother would I you, help you that good Americans are fighting for the free world in Vietnam while you intellectuals are safe at home? 
getting high around What about the you? What, what are, are you these doing? days we're going to clean you? up California. Get rid of all the lefties, hopheads, homos, and blacks. God Give dang. it back to true Californians. True Californians? You mean the Mexicans? Or the Native Americans? Dumb shit. I hate dumb people. Oasis. Oaks, not oasis, oaks. Okay. Alright. We're just gonna walk out here. These guys just have to stop their car if I get away. Hey honey, what's up? You got your sandals off? All flowery dress? Got a lot of different colors going on there. Two different greens in your pant legs. You must have something interesting to say. We didn't see you in Monterey. You missed everything, Wait. brother. Three Donna. days of total craziness. Total. Can you imagine thousands of brothers and sisters tripping to the sound of a sitar? Sitar. Some guys never came down. Otis sang, never try a down. little tenderness. He was dressed like a prince. I definitely spent the night with Jimmy and Otis. Like being right between fire and style. Golly, you should have seen down. Jimmy. He fucked his Stratocaster right up on stage and torched it. Oh, don't you want to light my fire, Elvin? Light your fire? Well, possibility, possibility, maybe. You talk kind of funny, though. Run upstairs here and see if everything's all right. Do you remember those lights? I don't really remember those lights. Uh, time to go out there and look at that television in the dumpster. Hey, Donna, you got something else to say? I'll make you forget your fear. Ooh. I know you've always had a thing for pretty girls with black hair. Whoa. Well, let's just go. Right to the point there. No need to be shy. Well, she said two things. Let's go over here and see what Agent Shine has to say. Summer of love. My ass. And you, you know, you would probably appreciate life a whole lot better if you just chill a little bit. Man, your life must suck. One more time. Anything else? I'll make you forget your fear. I know you've always had a thing for pretty girls with black hair. Uh, you know, I'm pretty easy. That uh, might be uh, convincing. Oh, friends, I'm not just what I'm not seeing at the moment. But first, for those who just tuned in, well, uh, welcome. I'm having flashbacks, left, right, and center. I think I'm done since mine array. Fucking LSD! Okay, so, okay no, we heard that in the last episode. Like, um, Dude, what's up, man? That's a heck of a peace sign you got on you. Look at him, look at him, look at him in the air. Can you keep warming that outfit? Hey, brother. Hey, brother. It's been so long. So long. Wow. You look like a junkie, dude. I do. If you get any of that crystal laid, we're down. It's oh, way better than not. Stavros's weed. They say it's a kind of chemical junk that hooks right up to a gland in your brain. Oh my god. And sends you into a zillion dimensions. And that's what's happening to me, obviously. Watch I'm out, a... brother. There's a guy from the narc squad hanging out in the neighborhood. I saw him. We saw Bayer leaving your house this morning in uh, tears. Yeah, oh man. man. It's her karma, brother. There's a deficiency. Oh man, they just let it go too lightly here. I'll come back and talk to you in a minute. I gotta find out about this thing here. How many? Give it to me. Five. I wonder if I can go over here and listen to this. What he's saying in this minivan. A little easier now. No, nothing. Are you gonna tell me anything else? Got room at your place now, huh? Uh, no. Think no, we could no crash Fred. for a couple days? No, Fred. We no, could I hang don't. out, I mean, listen I... to music, get high, like. 
draw the heat. You know, myself. little Donna has always had a bit of a crush on you, Will. Well, yeah, uh, that's what she tells me. More than a crush. I see a light flashing. It's up there. There it is. Yeah, billboard's changing. Let's go over and look at the casting a shadow there. I can see it changing. Oh, I saw something over there, too. Hey, Donna. Ooh. What is that? A bit of a tower with some... What are those? Microwave antennas? I can't tell. Spotlights or something? Now I saw something over here, I think. Oh, there it is. You see that? Come on. Do it again. Uh-oh, this is one of those things you have to turn to it, I think. <clears throat> yep, there it is. That car, that whole car was gone. Here it is. Ah, dang it. Get closer. Okay, here we go. Turn. Yes. Willie's Kingburger is no longer there. Well, at least it's sign. What the hell are these things? Watchtowers? Is that a cop truck? Uh, uh, whoops! Dang. You can see inside that building now. Kind of interesting. So in this alternate dimension, you just have a wall going there and a wall going there, and they don't have anything there, so it just takes that away. What's inside the tower thing? I can see something there. Oh, that that. Agent Shine, he's watching me real close. I'm just staring up in his face there. He's looking at the building there. He, he knows I'm screwed up. Okay, so those are trees over there. Those are big trees. That's one, two, three, four, five stories. I don't even get as high as that. It's like an 80-foot tree or more. Wow. I like big trees. This is a Saturn record shop. Oh, look at that. Saturn Record Shop. It's still the Saturn Record Shop. Uh-oh. Berkeley Ballroom. Ben Miller. Instead of Glenn Miller. And his orchestra. It's all closed down. The OUCA got him. I still don't know what the OUCA is. Got my books up there. What's that one say? Dobby. Dobby. I don't know. Second hand loose man. Stand it. Everybody's loving my baby. <laughs> bottle to the. Bottle to the what? This ends there, bottle to the... Yeah, back up a little bit, maybe. When you decide, nobody's woman, too much... Is that Alice? Alice is meant out too much alive when you come around. Well, that sounds kind of... I don't know. Let's say. Oh, we can hear music now. National Agency Identity Check. Oh, we a surveillance state. Some people in our country now would like something like that, I think. 
I'm just gonna stand out here in the road and see how much how many cars are back up here. That says O U C A on it there. Man. Ooh, I can't go that way. Whoa, whoa. Alright. Ooh, I am freaking out. This one is not round like the other one. This is look at that, it's not round. all the rest of them are are perfectly round. This one's sort of Oh, I see. It's ridged and it goes the ridges run in one direction. Look all the way up, all the way up there. Where you left. Look, I got three cars over here. Here comes number four. Let's see if I can get five. That's four. There's five. Now, nah, let it pull away and see how they... They all go one right along with the other like a train. Well, you know, close but not like a train. Okay, well, that's enlightening. How many more do I have? What's that thing say? Two. They all seem to be outside here somewhere. I think I think I thought yeah the light pole is moving. Okay. Can I get close into the stop. Oh, there it is. You have to get right in the exact right spot. Woo! Taller building. So bland. Everything is bland. Got no fire escape. Look inside. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got a big car here too, but it's a little different. Not low and wide like those others. Older style. Ah, it's old cop car style. Can I get over there? Maybe if I wait for it. Come on, wrong I'm past time here. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. No, it won't let me do it. Oh, it's interesting to see inside this building. corners in the same place. Oh, okay, enough of that. Oh, I thought I saw something. No, it's just a flaw in the graphics there. Okay. Where else are we going to see something? I don't want to talk to Ed. One. Interesting little place. Yeah. 
Man, people sure watch me. Donna? Yeah, my wife just left. If you're still around in a few months, then maybe. Maybe we'll do something. You know what? I have a feeling. I have a feeling that I need to go into my apartment and look out the window for this last one. That's my feeling. My feeling is something to do with this. There it is right there. I was about to say with the theater. Hold on, I gotta... <laughs> Whoa, sorry. Mm -mm -mm, that was good. Yep. There we go. Exact right spot. Ooh. It's your lucky day, Mr. Green. We're offering you a unique opportunity to pass through the looking glass. The ultimate trip into worlds that are waiting only for you. Worlds where reality and desire are one. Worlds where everything is possible, even oblivion. Are you ready to take the plunge into the triangle of earth, well, fire and air, Mr. Green? Only to quote one of your peers, reality is nothing but a point of view. To quote one of your cells, one of my cells, this dude, he's a... Uh, he knows all about oh he knows all about what's going on. So this is some sort of a gas station. That is. Well, only because if I quit here I'll have to go back to it again and do it all again. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on to the next reality here. Electric station. Look at all that stuff you could do. Check okay. All that stuff is there, you couldn't see it until now. What's that couch doing out there? A-P-E, oh that's right, just advanced Berkeley Electric or something like that. Lighting the something or other. Oh, so close. Come on, let me out. Alright, I guess we're going to go to the next world. All that light shining over there. Hey Donna, you gonna be here in the next world? I'll make you forget your fear. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Oh, I see. Okay, maybe I see. Let's go over here. Cars. Oh yeah, this is it. Uh -huh. There we go. All those lines are there anyway, you just have to get in the right spot. Here we go! The whole idea is to get Taya to come back. An alternate reality where I'm doing much better. All my books are selling. 
got a bigger apartment. This thing turned blue. It was orange and yellow. Okay, now I'm typing something different. Biography of Abraham Lincoln by Patriot Writer. Patriot Writer. Elvin Green. Something wrong with this place. Volume 4. Yeah. Great Abe's Triumph. Oh, how everyone has been waiting for this morning of July the 5th, 1866. From, from sunrise, the good people of California have gathered in their masses along Victory Avenue. California. I don't believe there was. Was there a California when Abe was president? Um, I don't think so. Maybe. Uh, uh, masses along Victory Avenue, an ocean of star-spangled banners. On this day of national pride, the Republic of California is celebrating its 20th anniversary in the presence of the Father of the Nation. So Abraham Lincoln was... The father of a country called California. Oh, interesting. The great Abraham Lincoln, the great Abe in person. A low murmur at first, then a s swelling rumble. Guiding a chariot, chariot pulled by three magnificent grizzlies a lanky figure stands out against the light instantly recognizable Come on, come on. Great Abe greets the throng with a pro. Oh, hear the noise. Foundly solemn gesture. Really? Why? Like Caesar. Making it, ooh, ooh, no knock this time. Yeah, let me just finish this line. I'll be right there. His way up the sacred path to the sacred path. S sacred path. What the heck are you talking about? Capital. Okay. Oh well, yeah, this is different now. You have a message from Citizen Info Political Number E42H07C64. Patriot Writer, please forgive a young journalist for bothering you. According to my information, our security services have foiled a terrorist plot. I'd like a comment for the readers of History Now. I hope you don't mind, but I'm waiting downstairs. Damn. Something is, there's always a problem with surveillance states. Okay. All right. Hopefully this will count as the chapter and I come back to this spot when I start the next video. So, guys, thanks for watching with me. And I hope you return. Until then, I'm Captain Daedalus. Out.